everyone this is Prima and due to the gazillion requests I received the other day after I painted Lightning McQueen inspired face painting I'm here to show you how I um, did that design okay so first I will um, tell you what materials I'm using today so I have the paints from FPA Face Paints Australia, they're really great. And I'm using the Metallics Combo Outback. They're shimmery and pretty. And um, FBA White, Black, Tag Blue, and um, Orange Cosmetic Glitter. And I'm using this awesome, awesome stencils from BAM. It's number 1206. And I'm using this still has one from BAM as well, I think, but they're the smaller version. And it's 4037. And I'm just going to use that bit right there. Okay, so um, I also have my little sponge and 3 4 flat brush, script liner number two, and number four round brush okay so um, first I'm going to grab my combo out back okay so if you're going to do this in a, an event or a party and there is lots of kids in there you can skip this part that I'm going to do. Um, I just love creating that makeup look every time I do my face paint. That's why, um, if you notice, I always have that eyeshadowing in there. But um, you can definitely skip this part. But, because we're here now, I'm going to do it. All right? So first, I will have my sponge just touching a little bit of the red from this combo. Just a little bit. That thread is quite strong that once you apply it there, it just overpowers everything. But that is, you have to practice that so it doesn't, um, it doesn't mud everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the red, the darkest color, I'll be putting it inside the corner of my eyes here. Okay, so excuse me if I look down because I'm um, looking on the mirror. All right. So you just lay your sponge just like that. Okay. Oh, it's wet. I'm going to have to fan this. I should have gotten my other fan. And you can definitely use a different sponge if you don't have these small ones. Um, I think it's good to use one of these little made up butterfly wing sponges too, if you prefer. Okay, and then after I put a little bit of red there, I'm going to turn my sponge around and use the lighter color in the middle. That creates that um, fire kind of look and it's properly blended then okay hmm that looks good okay there it goes and then next after that, I'm going to grab my glitters, because glitters makes everything pretty. I rarely put glitter on my face when I'm doing my own face painting, because um, <laughs> I'm not very good at applying it to myself. It either goes in my eyes, poop like that, or it just, I get covered with it. So, and then I am going to grab my three-fourth flat brush and again I am picking up this awesome awesome FBA combo of Outback 
and then just going to wet my sponge quickly and my brush and then I'm just going to grab these two color here okay why is that when I'm doing most of my design I like having the color to be rendered without the stress of rendering okay I mean what I mean is the traditional way of mixing it or blending the colors this way actually makes it a lot easier okay just make sure that you load your brush really well all right so the shape of lightning mcqueen it's like a roof on the head there let's just imagine that you have to locate the middle of your forehead all right and imagine that the middle part of the eye or the eyelid goes that way oh maybe i should draw it first just so you guys can see i don't really need to do this at work but i just want you to see it properly okay so let's say that's the very middle of it and then we're just going to draw the eye you guys can do it too before um, picking up the red paint okay we can just do it now for teaching purposes <laughs> okay there you go that's the shape of the windshield of the car all right so we'll go back to this loaded brush already and then first I'm going to draw with the lighter color on the top I'm going to draw the side mirror it's just like painting a petal like that and another one All right another side are you following okay and then I'm going to draw a, the same um, the same stroke with that one but will be bigger because we are going to paint the front face of the car okay so it goes like that and then in and then curve down okay and same thing at this other side in and like that okay and then um, this space here we're going to fill that up you go back to your paint I'm just reloading okay and then just fill that up. Ooh, I'm too close to the mirror. Mm. I was going to paint my son, but he's at school today. All right, so there goes the face of the car. And then we're going to do the sides oops I'm getting a bit wobbly and then I'm going to draw the top roof of the car and then just the dark red here on the bottom just use that to feel the spaces okay keeping in mind that you are making a shape as well okay there we go and then after that we are going to poof some glitters on it again poof. Ooh. if I remember to close my eyes there you go so sparkly 
And then I'm going to grab um, my homemade um, flame color. I have, you can definitely get those um, flame, one, one stroke flame from your favorite shop or brand but I just made my own because I thought I'd like to make it pop a little bit more I don't I like bright bright colors okay so I'm just loading my three-fourth brush and making sure it's properly loaded because we're going to draw the fire okay All right, so here we go. To draw fire, I know some people will do it like this. Like that. But with this design, you can either use that or do like that, which is easier actually. Okay. especially for kids that doesn't have much forehead. I don't think doing the very detailed fire would uh, be really good. <laughs> okay, so with this one, I'm going to start where the, where the, um, what do you call this? Front of the car ends, just here, and I'm going to draw fire there, okay? So it's going up and curve and another curve curve down and then in okay and then another little one in and then at the corner of my eye right there and I mean the um, outer corner of my eye I'm going to have my brush in an angle curve, do the curve again and another one and in all right so you just do the same on the other side okay I'm going to do it like that and like that and in and another small in in see and then you can add more in there you can add as much fire you like there or flame they call and then what I did here is I actually just dabbed my brush that way randomly it adds texture and interest to this the design but then again you can always skip that if you don't have much time and um and just here in the middle here if you see there's spaces there you can do the same you can just dab 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 you don't need to do the stroke or if you want to you can do the stroke but then making the stroke on this part of the forehead is actually going to be extra difficult when you're doing it on the job okay so this is just easier just tap 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 okay and then again glitters poof and another side all right and then I'm going to grab my round brush, number four, and FBA white. And then I'm going to pick, I'm going to double load my brush, okay? Um, just like how you double load your petals. And then I'm going to pick some of the orange here, just on the tip. Okay? And then I'm going to draw the headlights just above the forehead. I mean, above the <laughs> eyebrows. All right, sorry, English isn't my first language, though. So I hope you guys bear with me. There you go. I think I have positioned the car a little too low. There you go. Mm. Just like that. And then 
um, we are going to grab some of the blue from from FBA2 because Lightning McQueen's eye is blue, okay? Um, I just put it right there. I definitely painted this a little too small for my forehead. I should have made it a little bit higher, but um, we're here now. Okay, and then um, while everything's drying up, I'm going to put the eyeshadowing right there. I'm using um, Superstar. Oh, what they called this? Is Star Blend um, Black and a blender brush. You can use any blender brush. Okay, so I'm just starting in the outer corner of the eye right there eyelid I'm creating a smoky eye but then you can skip this part I just want pretty <laughs> like that did I do it right and then to the other side it good all right just like that and then we are going to start outlining all right so I have my number two script liner brush and I'm going to pick up um, white first this is going to be just the highlight but then again because I have used um, one stroke style in painting the um, car car body you don't really need to highlight it because in person you just can't see it here it all it's already a little bit um, like illuminated like it's got highlights on it already you don't really need to but f because I did that on my um, picture or my face paint that I did the other day I'm just going to show you so what I'm doing is I'm applying the highlights first because I don't like the highlights to ruin my lining later okay so I'm going to just paint a little bit on the top and on the eyelid and some on the side here and just that doesn't have to be perfect just okay and then here and then there and some on the bonnet here all right and then um i forgot you know that writing in the front of um lightning mcqueen's bonnet i'm going to pick up some of the yellow from the same cake okay you can use any of your paint i meant any brand or whatever you have in your in your kit will do all right here we go so you don't need to draw every detail you just have to just pick up the things that stand out on a character okay so I'm going to use the same brush and I'm picking up black. And we're going to continue outlining. Okay. Here we go. Mm, on the top, curve down like that. And then on the other side, just make that little curve and that, and then 
for the side mirror and the side mirror it's definitely extra difficult to paint yourself <sighs> oh just remember when you put your finger on the color just like what I'm doing now is it's dry okay keep in mind that if you just painted that side and it's wet and you put your hand in there or your finger in there your pinky it will mess up the design so presence presence of mind is very important <laughs> okay and then just the bottom right there and then we're going to start from the outside and go in like that and the outside and go in doesn't have to be so perfect and then just the headlights just like that if it's too close to the eyebrows you don't need to outline the bottom of the that headlight right there but then again could be because I have more eyebrows than kids all right so it's there and then because I like it to look pretty I'm gonna add some lashes pretty pretty <laughs> Sorry. all right and then here's the cool part and oh before I forgot before I forget I need to finish the eyes just like that using my number four round brush saves you time from making big dot all right and then there's some on the front right there you don't need to draw the big smiley face okay because this stenciling will just make it wow. All right, and then I'm grabbing my spritzer bottle, wet my finger dubber quickly, and then I am picking that yellow from there. Okay. Let's see. Let's hope I didn't make it to it. There, just test it. All right, and then I'm going to lay um, this that way. You can use your um, graffiti eyes by Leia Silly. I've been trying to get one, but every time I go online, it's out of stock because it's so cool. Everyone's buying it. So I'm just going to use this half part of the stencil okay just the bottom part part because I want these little dots in there just over the fire right there okay so just dab 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 poop pretty and then I'm going to turn this around like that and I'm going to do it from the corner of your eyelid just here you'll start from there and then just dab 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 some people just swipe it but I tried that I'm not that um, good yet on stenciling although I love using stencils it just blots anyway so um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side dab 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 just randomly there you go and then I'm going to turn this around again and then dab 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 all right there you go and then um, if it's gonna be difficult for you to um, do the middle part you can skip that part but I did mine so I'm going to put hold my stencil really firm 
to make sure it won't move because this part right here is extra difficult because this it's not even all right there you go how cool is that and then I'm going to use some of these cute little stars and I'm going to rinse that whoop I gotta run away spritzer bottle <laughs> okay and a spritz whoop I'm going to grab some of the FPA white okay You can also use the white from that part, uh, the white from this um, combo, but I'm using just the plain white so it stands out really well. Okay, I want it to have um, like variety of shimmer and everything in there. Okay, so um, this bigger star here is gonna be positioned like that and the end of these stars will go around here okay so just be careful when doing this this is why finger dubbers come in handy um, when trying to pick up some of the or trying to lay stencil design and it's so small you can definitely carefully put stenciling with no problem all right so there you go i'm not going to paint my lips because it's already got lipstick in it so that's how i painted my lightning mcqueen inspired face painting i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today and please like my page at Facebook um, called Prima Barton and same in Instagram it's called Prima Barton as well and follow me on YouTube thank you guys you guys have a magical day bye <laughs>